Yep. Yep. I did it. Calm down my locks. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you've already seen the title of the video and you already saw my little blunt statement in the beginning, then you know what this video is about. You know that this is all about how I've combed out my locks. But before we get into the whole reason why and the backstory, <sighs> gotta get take care of some business. So make sure if you haven't already that you click that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you do like it. It definitely helps this video to get seen by more people and it lets me know that I'm making content that you guys actually give two cents about. <laughs> and leave me a comment down below with any questions that you may have. I'll be doing a follow-up video to this video in about a month's time where I do a one month kind of post check-in to let you know how my hair is doing and all of that. So leave your comments and questions down below that you'll want to see featured in that Q&A slash update video. So now that all that business is taken care of, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right back into the past really, really quickly. I'm gonna do my best to keep this short, sweet, and simple. I'm gonna do my best to also try to find pictures from way back then, but we'll go back to about college years. I was a freshman in college, 2010. Man, that was eight years ago, and I just started figuring out that my hair was curly. This was actually about sophomore year. So I'm gonna say around 2011, 2012, uh, cause I had met my then boyfriend, now husband. And um, yeah, one day I had just gone a really long time without getting a perm and I saw that I had curls at my roots and I was so excited. I kept wetting my hair just to see like, just to see the curls. And so I vowed from that day forth I would never get a relaxer again and I didn't. Um, and so I grew my hair out long enough to where I could cut a lot of it off without feeling awkward. So I kind of had like a teeny weeny fro. Again, I'll try to insert some pictures whenever I can. Um, but my hair was still fairly dry. I was still doing things like straightening and um, adding color to it and manipulating it in a lot of different styles. But over the next two years, I really allowed my hair to just grow. And it got to the longest it had ever been in my life um, right before I got married. And I got married, I had my hair straightened, and my hair was, again, the longest it had ever been. And again, at that time, I was dyeing it, different colors of red, variation of reds and burgundies. Uh, and then I moved. So that was 2015, I got married, moved to Texas, back home here with my family, and um, I put a texturizer in my hair because I had gotten to the point where over that two year stint of growing my hair out, I had gone through so many products and it made it worse because I worked at Sephora for one of those years and so I had one, a discount and two, access to tons of different products because I was getting lots of product for free and then I was also just buying lots of products not only at Sephora but at Target, Whole Foods, Walmart, wherever I could get my hands on a, on a hair product and I was watching tons and tons of videos. If you're a natural girl, you know exactly what I mean. So I spent tons of money and I never had a product that actually worked. I never had a hair routine that actually worked. My hair never stayed in a style that I liked um, and I was just fed up with my hair. So after I got married, I moved to Texas. I put a texturizer in my hair thinking that it was going to help loosen my waves and it actually ended up pretty much permanently straightening half of my hair and the other half was like so loose of a wave that you couldn't really tell what it was doing. Um, so I ended up cutting off a whole bunch. I don't think I have a picture of this but I had a blunt bob and it was really really cute but I could really only wear my hair straight because again the rest of my hair was just kind of like a limp wave. So second big chop of my lifetime and I went the shortest I've ever gone in my life like I, I can't even say I probably had maybe an inch of hair on my head um, and so I started growing that out and about a year later I was starting to get fed up with the process I was starting to get fed up with trying to figure out my hair and by this point I had went from one extreme of using a million different products to the other extreme of using only natural homemade products so shea butter cocoa butters, oils, all kinds of things. I was mixing all kinds of things and just putting them in my hair, doing things like avocado hair mask and all kinds of crazy stuff. And so my husband was like, you know what? Why don't you get locks? You know, people in his family had had locks and you know, it was a good idea. And at the time I was kind of hesitant about it. So I kind of sat on it for a few months and a few months later, I 
put locks in my head and I basically documented the whole process right here on YouTube and I'll leave a link below for the playlist for my hair playlist because it takes you through that whole journey of the last two years and so for two years I had locks. I allowed my hair to just be and I didn't touch it. I braided it up, twisted it up because I did a mix of both and I just let it be and uh, yeah, I arrived two years later at having a head of almost adult locks because they had just really come out of their teenage stage, if you ask me. They had just stopped looking a hot mess. I just started receiving many, many compliments on my hair. And then I decided to comb them out. It comes down to my boob. That's, that's, this is actually the longest my hair has ever been in my life. My hair, I think the longest it ever used to come was maybe here all the way down to here so i mean that's long so i bet you're wondering why at that moment did i decide to comb my hair out it was august of this year so literally just a month ago that i sat there and i just felt suffocated like literally i just i felt like i couldn't breathe and not necessarily physically but more mentally spiritually and physically as far as my hair felt i just felt like i couldn't breathe and in that moment, I had to ask myself if I was really serving my hair by continuing to keep it in locks. Because at that point, I had realized for myself that our hair sheds naturally for a reason. There is a reason why these strands of hair fall out every day. You know, there's a reason why. And it's because our body is an intuitive being and it knows that when it's time to let go of energy, it's time to let go. But, you know, with me, I was I was really hoarding this energy and I got caught up in the whole spiritual community and the whole thought of, you know, your hair holds your energy and you want to hold on to this wisdom. Um, but at this point in time, I realized that I wasn't holding on to wisdom. I was holding on to built up emotion. And so I decided I was going to comb out my locks and I started this whole process of doing so. And um, I started out one lock at a time. It took me about three weeks really four but I took a week long break and um, a lot came up, a lot of emotions. I had tears, I had anger, I had. It felt like I had steam coming out of my head sometimes. I felt betrayal and frustration with myself. I mean there was so much that came up that I've been holding on to for two years. So not only did my head get lighter from coming out so much hair. This was from that one lock. This is the first bag, this was the front half of my hair, so not nearly as much as the back half of my hair. But, I got lighter emotionally and mentally. I released, I was able to finally let go and release of these emotions that, again, I've been storing in my hair because different parts of your body store different things, thoughts, emotions, feelings. And, um... It was an intense month, and it was a month where I was literally a hermit. I didn't really speak to anybody. I barely spoke to my mom, which is definitely not normal. My husband, you know, definitely got the brunt of a lot of my emotions, so I'm so thankful and just grateful for his patience and his love in the process. And yeah, now I'm here. Now I'm here with my natural hair, my natural curls. Obviously, I, you know, it's a braid twist out. Um, but I'm here. I'm in my middle. I found my my sense of balance uh, from being on one extreme of being relaxed, from doing another extreme of being natural, but using way too many products to an even another extreme of being natural, but like putting myself in a box of only being able to use 100% handmade natural products. And I've kind of found my way to this middle where I was able to find products that worked really well for my hair. I was able to intuitively, you know, feel what my hair needed and create a routine for my hair, a wash and a style routine where honestly I don't even wear my hair out. Most times it's in two braids <laughs> on the side of my head and that's it. Um, but it's just really interesting to me and it brings me back to the thought of cycles because it's like imagine being stuck in the winter season of your you know of of like snow falling and it being 20 degrees outside for two years you'd be tired of it you would be ready to move into spring ready to move into summer you know whatever version of spring and summer that is for whatever part of the continent and world that you live on but imagine being stuck in one season and that's almost what i was doing to my hair i was forcing it to be stuck because honestly 
naturally my hair wasn't just gonna lock up the way it did yes if you stop maintaining it of course it's gonna lock up but naturally if you're you know maintaining and taking care of your hair it's not gonna just lock up on its own you know and that was something that again was something that I believed at once but my beliefs and ideas towards locks have shifted now that doesn't mean that I'm against locks and that I like look down on anybody who has locks not the case I feel that everything is necessary until it's no longer necessary and for me locks were necessary for two years so that I could find my balance and find my middle when it came to caring for my hair and when it came to learning how to release emotions rather than hoarding and holding on to them and just creating lots of different change in my life because combing out those locks literally unraveled my life. I made a lot of changes just as that hair was just coming out, different changes mentally and I can't wait to share a lot of the changes that I have made and that I've been making with you guys. So there's a lot of content coming your way for sure. So that's pretty much my story. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. I've kept it nice and short and sweet for you guys. Um, but if you do have questions for me, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, definitely leave them down below. They'll be featured in the next video, which is going to be a month from now. It's going to be a post-lock check-in where I kind of let you guys know how my hair routine's been treating me. I will be showing, sharing with you guys what my hair routine is at that time um, because I want to make sure I've been in the groove with it for at least a full month before I share any details with you guys. Um, but yeah, this is my middle right now. This is where I am. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tune in for next week's video. I can't tell you what it's about yet, but it is about another change in my life that occurred after I started combing out my locks. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.